Hey guys, welcome back to B&B server where we're in the arena, but don't worry, I'm not going to be doing the arena this episode. I just wanted to show you a few things that I've done down here, like this and things like this. So I've gone round and done corners, basically. As you can tell, these long straight sections at the side here uh, uh, that still very much need to be doing. Um, but like, it's been two episodes now. Um, I, I think it's time we moved on and did something else, though I did want to show you guys what I've done here. Um, it's all, it basically works by the standard pattern of it's got brown clay in the background or red for the corners and then is overlaid with like birch wood in most places. Oh hello, oh, a, small little, a small little spot, stop there. Uh, yeah, birch wood in most places with um, acacia wood, that's what it's called. Uh, as accent and then like fence posts and flower pots and other things just to just to provide a little bit of je ne sais quoi basically yeah I, d I don't know what it's just it just adds some look I mean I particularly like these um, cactus in the flower pots they, they look like almost fence post like and give a give a nice little bar system also been able to harvest mushrooms down so I've been using the uh, mushroom textures for a lot of things um, in this one here I'd really like to try and get some uh, zombie chicken riders um, so at the witch farm we've actually caught one and I'll, I will show you him later but we've got a, a zombie pigman chicken jockey thing baby yes and he's gonna go in here and then we're gonna have a, a normal zombie one here and hopefully no one will kill him um, so yeah, and also this this thing here. I know I said no seating anywhere, but this isn't really seating. This isn't for you to come and sit on because you know you can't sit down in Minecraft. This is why no seating. It's the same reason I'm not going to put any toilets anywhere. What you're going to do in there? Hmm? Um, but th I think this is a nice little uh, is diorama the correct term? I don't know. It's just a nice a nice looking thing. It's for looking at because it looks nice. But what are we actually going to do today? Well, I've marked off a plot in the desert somewhere. Right here is indeed the plot that I was just talking about. Oh, that was a smooth cut, right? So, what we've got here is uh, little um, trays for obstacles. Like this first one is going to be a balanced beam. You come out and across and across, um, like iron bar start, uh, style. There's going to be a, a, a double jump. There's going to be some sort of fence jump. And then a scra uh, jump to the... the um, ladders and scrabble up the wall and hit the hit the winning button at the top which should be all right um let's say it's inspired by like ninja warrior but some sort of head-to-head -head contest type thing uh now i've marked this space out and already i've got it wrong because there should be a double line here so we can have one team color on one side and one team color on the other um and i need to dig these down a couple and have water flowing from this edge downwards and we're going to have ladders going up the middle uh, and from that we should be able to get a nice nice obstacle course going. Um, I think we're going to have player player waiting zones here, perhaps even pressure plates, so when both pressure plates go there's a light in the middle to say that you're both ready and you should run. Or perhaps some sort of random delay after both ooh, night approaches, after both people pre stand on the pressure plates and then um, on this other end we'll have a great big red button somehow i'm not sure how we're gonna have a great big red button but we'll have, we'll have a great big button that's like ridiculously obvious just here um that each player has to run up and press to win and then maybe a timing board in the background but i'm not sure about that that uh, uh timer is a lot more complex than just having yeah you've won um so yeah that that's what i'm going to be getting on with so yeah I'll see you at the end of sorting out these pits and then we can talk about how I'm going to uh, achieve the goal of making these obstacle like. Okay, so the first crucial decision to be made with this is what are the two team colours going to be? Um, obviously we need one on one side and one on the other. Now I brought a selection of colours with me and I'm just going to throw a few down um, and, and see what we get. Like this, this yellow looks pretty good but what, what would it look like with green? Uh, that's, that's also pretty good, but what about the red? Oh, now we've got a decision, haven't we? Hmm. I kind of like the contrast of the of the red and the yellow. The, these two are looking very nice at the moment. But I'm going to go slap some colours next to the green. Oh, that also looks very. Ooh, it, it's all very nice, isn't it? What about green next to yellow? 
Uh, uh, now I think what I'm actually going to do is possibly this colour now that I've seen them in place of where they are. Um, the yellow's nice and I do have an awful lot of yellow which would be a lot easier if I could use it that way. Mm, mm. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for that. So what I'm going to do is lay out the lining and we'll be back to talk about challenges. Woo! So after many deliberations, head scratching moments and even a conference of Minecraft players, I've come up with this colour design. Uh, I'll be honest, this was mainly chosen because of the uh, availability of colours. Uh, I did want to do a blue. Hello my friend, how are you? Uh, my bow's not on my... There we go. Uh, I did want to go blue, but I don't have that much lapis. So I, well, that, that's a lie. I probably do have enough lapis, and I'm not sure what I'm saving it for. Maybe the fear of this um, enchantment system coming in at 1.9. Uh, 1.8, sorry, 1.9. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just going around adding uh, security features. Uh, I, I have fencing. I want to make this secure from zombies because as you just saw it got a little bit inconvenient having to fight zombies every two seconds um, but that gives me a chance to tell you about this uh, the pass it on potato um, I made this a little while ago and let it loose upon the server the rules are quite simple um, when you receive the potato pass the potato on to the next nearest person you possibly can don't give it back to the person who just gave it to you but you know it's pretty simple um, it sums it all up with pass it on no backsies and it's it's been doing pretty well it's gone around the server a couple of times now it's finally made its way back to me so I get to uh, tell you guys about it I wanted to to see how how it played out before I, I, I talked about it on camera I didn't want it to be just one of these things that flops but no no it's, it's done well um, right so next job on <coughs> you see I've put these little pressure plates here uh, that's because underneath I've made a little AND gate and I want to make a little noise system to just be like, hey, both players are ready, you know, just in case they want a nice nice system for it. I was thinking maybe some sort of lights here, but then I realised I only made it too wide and I could run redstone up there or like some sort of system for it, but that, that's just a, a lot of hassle. Um, yeah, so what am I going to do for the obstacles? Well, this first one is going to be a balance beam. Um, no, I didn't bring any iron rails with me, but that's what they're going to be. They're going to be iron rails out, zigzagged, back and forth. Uh, the next one's going to be a fairly standard double jump. Um, I, then I think I had like some sort of fence um, contraption planned for down that way. Pro possibly fence and web, as I've got some web. And then a jump onto, um, onto ladders or vines, something like that, down the bottom. Um, and then, as I said, the... Uh, yeah, so jump across, land on something. If I can get a little, another little up and across without making it too easy to jump straight up to the top, I might do that as well. And then have like the winners button here with a little little firework display and maybe some uh, some sort of command block message. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so uh, also we've been talking about um, tournaments. Uh, I'm gonna set up a, a little opt-in system for that somewhere, um, possibly just a little stool here or maybe a uh, hopper and chest here um, a sign explaining what's going on yeah I might even do that um, not right now but very shortly uh, yeah so I'm gonna throw carry on throwing up these uh, defenses and we'll be back with what I'm gonna do about the opt-in system okay so I went and got some sleep and some very th strange things have been happening since I woken up like I look like a villager <laughs> Um, according to Mo Yang, this is because the villagers have taken over the skin server and the content delivery network, which I presume is what we use to deliver um, like resource packs and stuff. And we're all stuck lo looking like villagers. I've gone off and seen Lustria earlier, and he looks like a villager. Um, all the 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 system sounds, system sound, sound effects are different. Uh, if can you can hear me walking about? It's not very loud on the snow. Let's try over here. Yeah, it's all, all, all very weird. I like the sound effects, but there we go. It's a bit strange. But 
I've done a few things overnight. Um, the forthcoming obstacle course, please come in and have a snoop around, guys. Um, I know it's just, just a few holes in the floor today, but uh, a few holes in the floor at the moment. But I intend to sort that out today. Woo! But first, let's read this book that I've put here. Um, all the information for this can be found in the book. I want to play a game. Uh, and this example paper will explain once we're in the book. Um, right, so, have a look in the book. Ah, oh, poor Charlie. Um, Twitchy's terrifying tournament of doom. I wasn't sure about the of doom, so I, I kind of crossed it out. Uh, prizes for first, second, and third place. We've got two ocelot eggs and two wolf eggs for the first prize. One of each for the second, and either a wolf or an ocelot egg for second, third, third. Well, English. Um, we have the entrance cost is five XP and one paper. Now that is literally just because I don't want to put everyone's name in a in a tub somewhere. So like, if you want to come and be in, guys, be in. Uh, to to enter, you take your paper and you rename it on this here anvil. Doesn't have to be that particular anvil. It's just you know, on an anvil. Um, ooh, I went too far. Uh, name it to your name. See the example paper. You'll notice that this is named as my name. Um, let's just stop closing the book. Uh, Drop the entry street into this hopper, which I've put a pressure plate in front of so it gets closed and random things don't fall in there. Um, um, and on the last page is just how we're going to play the tournament. Players will be randomly paired, slowest will be knocked out, fastest will be repaired. Uh, we repeat this process until the winner is found and praise them for the Minecraft ma mastery. Woo! And I intend to do a, a video of all the different things. I'm not sure what format that's going to be in yet, but you know, there we go. Right, so that's all done now. Um, what are we going to do over here? Well, over here, huh, it's about time we started putting some obstacles in, right? Like, no, no one can traverse this as of yet. Ugh. Water, water, there's water here. So, we need to put down some, some, uh, method of egress, I suppose is the best term. Uh, now, I, I don't know how far across I'm going to go. Maybe just to the central nub here. Um, and then from the centre we can swing back out. Um, now I'm hoping people will zigzag, but inevitably someone will probably figure out that the box isn't that big and you can just kind of jump across. But that's alright, that just means that there's some like um, strategizing that needs to go into it in the first place. Now on this second one, ah, oh, shift. So I've changed my shift and uh, crouch button around because I'm used to, oh wow, because I'm used to having shift as my run button and uh, crouch as control. Uh, hey dude. Ah, can't type. Um, yeah, so uh, this is this is leading me to fall off of stuff a lot recently, but I'll, I'll get used to it again. It's just because um, whilst playing Minecraft, I got used to shift being my crouch button, but it's not anymore. It's crouch. So there we go. Um, so yeah, I want to put a double jump in now. I want to put one over there that you literally cannot jump to from here, um, which probably means it's going to be a, a little way down. Um, oh, I'm thinking maybe leave have this here like this. <laughs> That's a great noise. Um, and, ooh, I don't know, we'll, we'll come out a bit. And go maybe... Here. I, I think here. There's half slab up. Hmm. That, that should work. Ooh, wow, my, my, my thing's nearly dead. Now, hopefully, I cannot jump there from here. No, I can't. But whether a normal player that's actually got some skills can can or not is another matter. No, let's try again. Okay, last bit of this serious testing. Nice big run jump. Ugh! No, no, I, li I literally cannot get over there. So, if we're going to go with that, that's all good. Let's jump on here and jump across. It's very hard to park. Oh, it's very hard to parkour and talk to you guys at the same time. That's why I've. Uh, had to go quiet for a little bit there. Just make sure that I did get the jump right to... Oh, there we go. Um, made, made sure I got the jump right so that people can't make it across. Now, my next thing is that I want to uh, do some sort of fence jump out, I think. So maybe if we come down to there... Oh. <laughs> okay, so if we come down to there... And then if I can land on it, we'll put... Ah, oh, we're going to put out some dirt struts anyway. <laughs> let's, make, let's make this a little bit easier for myself so it's not just straight off onto the bad stuff. Um, and then I'd like to, if possible, put that there. 
So yeah, that that's really not going to work. It needs to be something a lot a lot easier to do. Um, yeah, as as I've mentioned, not not everyone on this server is great at parkour. Um, in fact, everyone has about the similar level of skills as to me. Uh, okay, right. Maybe we should make that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'll be back when I'm over that side, guys. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to uh, stop trying to build this and talk at the same time as I obviously couldn't actually fulfill that dual functionality. But here we go. Here's a f uh, well, two complete obstacle courses. Uh, I say obstacle courses, they're kind of like mini parkour bits. Um, and yeah, I, I think this is quite a, a nice entry level thing and then you hit the button at the back here. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like it. I, I, I'm quite proud of how it's come out. Now, I've got two more things to put in here to make it work. One is some sort of viewing platform here. Oh, hello. Isles has come to take... Oh, no, no, he's, he's come just to throw things around. Um, uh, yeah, uh, so like a grandstand, a gallery, something like that. Um, mainly because... Well, we need to get up... Hang on, I, I, I've gone and viewed it up. Somewhere about this high, I think, would be an ideal viewing stage. Um, and then I also, you've noticed I've put those two bits of orange wool at the back there where the buttons are going to go. Uh, this is because I'm also in the middle of trying to sort out some sort of system like this, where when you press one button, a piston comes forward. Oh, this worked a second ago. Uh, well, there we go. A piston comes forward and blocks off the, the uh, signal from the other side. Now, I... I'm not sure how this is going to work because this keeps on not working on me. Um, I keep coming up with ideas and then it then it fails. So yeah, uh, so yeah, grandstand and press button system for this is to find out who who wins first, obviously. Yes. And finally, this is the contraption I came up with to do the sorting of the players to see who came in first. Yes. Is exactly what I did. Oh, hello. Uh, have I logged in at night? Um, anyway, I will demonstrate how this works by freezing this moment in time here where the button is depressed by putting this lever on the side here. Now, you'll notice the first thing that happens is this... Well, no, second thing that happens. First thing that happens is it goes around here because it's un, uh, undelayed. Hello. How are you two? You all good? Um, which then goes into this repeater, which locks this one. Now, I, I thought you could just run redstone straight into the side but it turns out you can't um, which then gives it this um, handy uh, what's this called bedrocks bar which then stops it firing off to the repeater so you, you can see whilst this one is on this one will not fire which is what I was trying to explain there uh, and same happens vice versa um, let's demonstrate that by putting this here um, and that one's like that awesome with the with the lock across it uh, as well as this oh they're noisy aren't they let's run away as well as this i've done this a sort of 1950s art deco grandstand um sorry i just had my eye on this guy over here let's there we go um i moved the the, the explanation board to here because it looks better than just being a, a freestanding thing over there um, and yeah, I, I think this looks pretty pretty dapper, in, in all honesty. Um, inside, I've not gone to town. Um, it is just a, a nice little nice little patterned floor here. I quite like that. I quite like it a lot, actually. Um, out the back is, is a bit plain and boring. Um, I'm going to have a chat with Penguin, if I can get hold of Penguin. Penguin, if you're watching this, hi. I want to landscape all this area. Um, I think it'll be fine because kind of that's his spot, right? Uh, and then putting a little bit of a garden thing in here just to just to look a little bit nicer, I think would be fine. Um, I also going to have the um, tournament board like here. It's going to take up this entire entire bit. It'll be red and yellow. Well, it'll be red and yellow, red and yellow, red and yellow. And you put item frames on there, and people's names go in, and then they run on the red one, and they run on the yellow one, and then the winner goes down to the next level. Yes. Um, and that's about it, actually. Um, until everyone else comes along and joins in. Uh, we've had a few um, people join in. Let's, let's take this hopper out. Uh, we've had Enderborn Isles and Revenge Predator join so far. Um, I'm hoping more will come and join. I'm pretty sure Lustria will be up for the laugh. 
Uh, I'm hoping Miss Miss Aligned will also join in and probably Forrest as well. And and I'm definitely in, but I'm gonna wait until the end to put my example paper in. Um but until then, thank you very much for joining me for this buildy adventure guys. Um I I've liked it and if you've liked it then please leave me a like so that I know you've liked it and we can do more stuff like this. Um if you don't Drop me a comment. Let me know what you do want to see. But until that time, bye!